Hi, welcome to my new video. I'm Uwe and today I want to share with you a really useful trick that can save you a lot of time when upsizing your Power BI desktop reports to analysis services. One of my customers wanted to transfer his Power BI data models to SSAS Tabula without having to rebuild all the reports in Power BI desktop based on the new live connection to SSAS. As you might know, since the September update of Power BI Desktop, you are able to convert direct query connections into imports using the composite model feature. But up to now, there is no officially supported way to convert a model with imported data to live connections to SSAS. However, this would have saved a lot of my customer's time because he would not have to rebuild all the visuals and formatting stuff in his reports. On my search for a solution, I came across two blog posts by Dustin Ryan and Rui Romano, both providing a really clever solution to this problem. So I highly recommend to check out both their blog posts. There is a lot of cool stuff to discover out there for you. You can find the links in the comments below. Although Dustin's suggestion is a really smart solution, I will use Rui's approach because to me it's a little bit more straightforward and less technical. So in case you don't already know this trick, here's another chance for you. Before we start, I would like to point out that this solution is not officially supported by Microsoft. We are doing this at our own risk. So it's always a good idea to keep a backup copy of your Power BI desktop file. There's no guarantee that the report will work properly afterwards, especially if you are using new features in Power BI that may not yet be supported in the version of SSAS that you are connecting to. That said, let's dive in. For demo purposes, I have created a small Power BI desktop file with imported data, some visuals, some measures and user hierarchies. That's it. I have already rebuilt the model on my local instance of SSAS 2016. When using Azure SSAS, you can simply upload the data model. To connect this report to the new SSAS model, we start by opening the query editor. There we delete all the existing queries. Clicking close and apply afterwards. As you can see, all visuals are showing errors now. To fix this up, we now set up a live connection to our SSAS model using the get data dialog. Entering the server name, specifying the database and we're good to go. So when all the tables, columns and measures were set up in SSAS according to your prior Power BI desktop file, your report should now come back to life. That's it. Simple. I hope this tip was useful for you. Once again, credits to Rui and Dustin for providing their ideas. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all of my videos. For some additional content, also visit my blog on datainsights.de. That link can also be found in the comments below. See you next time. Wish you all the best. Bye bye from Hamburg.